Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. Today was the last day in our musalla for Fajr prayers and for all the prayers. They've shut down today. And what I don't understand is how they let the schools going. They're worried about contact, but they're leaving kids. Kids are not as reliable as adults. Kids, they put their hands in their mouths. Kids, they're playing groups, you know what I'm saying? But they're leaving the schools open and they're shutting down the musalla. So this I'll never understand. I don't know what's going on, but it is what it is. My brothers, at this time, you have to strengthen your iman. And you have to come closer to Allah. For argument's sake, and I ask Allah to protect me, my family, this Muslim ummah from this virus. For argument's sake, let's say someone gets the virus. What can the doctors do? They isolate you. They keep you comfortable. But there's no cure. It is Allah that cures you. It is Allah that strengthens your immune system to fight this disease. And how does it look for a Muslim to disobey Allah, to neglect Allah, and not have his full reliance on Allah, let his fears overcome his, his, his deen, and to compromise his deen, and obey the shar, may this not happen to anyone, but you get the virus. How does it look? You had no tawakkul in Allah. You weren't worshipping Allah. You weren't following his deen properly. And God forbid, ba'id the shar, may Allah not will it, you fall sick. Where's your reliance, my brother? What are you going to expect, my brother? It is Allah that can cure you. With any disease, cancer, if someone has cancer, they can do chemo all they want. They can do all the treatments all they want. People still die from chemo. People still die. There's no cure for cancer. But you hear stories of people pulling through. You hear stories of people pulling through. There's been so many situations I've heard people saying, the doctor said I have no chance. And yet Allah makes this person survive. There are people that have been shot and they've survived. And I'm talking multiple bullets, they've survived. Doctors have said impossible. Allah makes it possible. Allah gives us death and Allah gives us life. My brothers and sisters, at this point now, you have to come closer with Allah. Worship Allah and put your full reliance on Allah. Now, in my last video, I had a few brothers messaging me and they're not understanding what I'm trying to say here. They're not understanding my message. And I'm going to clarify my message again for those that don't understand because I really thought I made it very clear. I'm not telling you to cross the road without looking left or right. I'm not telling you don't wash your hands and don't listen to the health professionals. I'm telling you don't let your fears get to the point where you start letting your fear compromise your deed. That's what I'm saying. Don't neglect your creator out of fear. Don't neglect your duties as a Muslim out of fear. This is what I'm saying. Don't change the salah out of fear. Because when I'm going to the musalla, who are we praying to? We're praying to our creator, the one in charge of this, the one that brought the sun out today. We're, we're praying to the one that controls everything. I shouldn't neglect my duties to my creator. I still look left and right. I still wash my hands. I still do what I'm supposed to do. But the one thing I don't do is I don't neglect my duties as a Muslim to my creator, the one that controls everything. Because he's in control. So again, my brothers and sisters, please understand what I'm trying to say. At this time right now, we're in a crisis. Let's come closer to Allah. Start opening the Quran and read the Quran. Come closer to your Rabb. Build a relationship with Allah. Wallahi billahi. Every time I leave my house, I say, Hasbi Allah, we never look here. I make a small dua and I'm, I'm at peace. Wallahi, I'm at peace. I can't describe it. I'm not panicking like everyone else because I'm putting my reliance on the boss, the creator, the one that controls everything. But when I walk in the store, I still put the hand sanitizer. I still take measures. I still follow what I'm supposed to do. I'm not telling you across the road, I look left and right. But at the end, my soul trust is in the creator himself. I still take the steps. But my soul trust is in Allah. In my heart, I have firm belief that if I get this illness, it's by the permission of Allah. And if I don't get this illness, it's from the rahmah and the mercy of Allah. So deep down, my soul trust is in Allah. 
My soul trust isn't in the hand sanitizer, like a lot of you's out there. My soul trust isn't in the mask. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you don't wear the mask, and I'm not telling you don't put on the sanitizer. I'm telling you take the steps, but have your soul trust in the creator of this earth. Have your soul trust in Allah. Put your reliance on Allah. This is what I'm trying to explain to you, my brothers. And don't let your fears neglect Allah. Don't let your fears compromise your deen. Don't change the deen because you're scared. Because this is a test, my brothers and sisters. Allah wants to see who is the real believer. He's testing us, my brothers and sisters. I ask Allah to bring us closer to Him at this time right now. To strengthen our Iman and to strengthen our trust in Him. I ask Allah to protect this entire Muslim Ummah from this coronavirus, to protect our families and to give us the strength to get through this hard time and to strengthen our uh, Ummah and our trust and our reliance in Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.